I've been doing a little bit of experimenting those last few weeks since we're uh, finishing up the grass for the year and not doing such of such an intense grazing. Um, I've been taking down the back wire, and what that means is we're working this direction in this pasture. You can't see it, but just past the cattle, there is another poly wire, so they can't go any further that way. And that direction is fresh grass. Now, if we turn around and look back, this is the direction we've came from. The cattle were just on the other side of this poly wire. And then there was a couple more poly wires on back. But what I've been doing as I move across the pasture is I take the, the, the poly wire that's behind what they've ate and where they're at down. Now, I thought this was real interesting. Greg Judy, and if you don't know him, I strongly encourage that you do some research on, on uh, Greg Judy because he has uh, got a lot of knowledgeable information out there on this uh, intensive grazing, mob grazing, and just grass farming period. But anyway, he had pointed out that he does not back wire, and that encouraged me to try it. Now his thoughts, and it does seem to be true, is after the cattle have defecated, pooped and peed, and, and pretty much ate everything they want over there, they have no reason to go back. And for the most part, he's right. He is completely right. Now what this keeps me from doing is that I don't have to move the water into their paddocks every day. I can leave it a paddocks or two behind, and they're able to walk back to the water and then come back. Now I don't want to leave the water in the same place for so long that they've created a trail. So today I'm going to move it and catch it back up a little bit. Yeah, if you've never experimented with this uh, taking down the back poly wire, you ought to give it a try because it is pretty neat that they don't go back over there except for to get to their water and their mineral feeder. So it's pretty neat. Anyway, if you like this video and you're grass farming, please take some time to leave, uh, leave a comment down below. I'd appreciate it. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you.